What's up guys, it's Koi from Gent Within and in this video we're talking Beckett Simonon, Morgan Trainers. And so my journey with Beckett Simonon goes way back over five years to the date. I was browsing the male fashion advice subreddit MFA one day and then I saw a sweet deal for a pair of German army trainers. I never owned a pair before and I thought it was a really cool alternative to the basic white trainer silhouette a la Common Projects. And so I decided to pull the trigger even though I knew that I'd have to wait three months to get them. The style and silhouette reminds me of my old Diesel sneakers that I had way back in high school with a similar look and feel with the navy and the leather suede combination but this shoe has a much more flattering silhouette, especially too with the gum sole detail as well. I tried looking for pictures of that pair of sneakers and I couldn't find any. But let's jump right in with this review. And so I'm not gonna cover the details of Beckett Simonon. You can hop on over to my blog for more details on that. But I'm going to share my experience with my Beckett Simonon Morgan trainers over the years, the style and design, quality and craftsmanship, comfort and durability, shoe sizing, pros and cons, and then finally wrap it up with the price to performance. All right, so for my experience with the Morgan Trainers, there are some differences between this original pair right here that I have and this updated version right here. So I got this one over five years ago, this one about three years ago. So for the blue pair, it's actually slightly narrower and it's lower than the white pair. It's a very subtle difference, but it is noticeable, particularly while you're wearing them. My navy pair was actually more comfortable out of the box, and the break-in period was much shorter than the white pair. And that's not to say the updated version is less comfortable right now, it just takes a little bit longer to break them in. As of now though, both of the shoes are almost pretty much equally as comfortable. The white pair's shoe tongue still digs a little bit into my front of my foot, a little bit so it can be slightly uncomfortable especially while I'm wearing no-show socks but after wearing them for a few hours it's really not a big deal and you kind of forget about it after wearing the shoes for a while. So let's get into the style and design of the Gats. So the German army trainer also known as Gats is a unique and classic sneaker that has plenty of history. This iconic sneaker has a ubiquitous design that was actually first created with function in mind, not fashion, and so it was specially made and fit for the soldiers of the German army. The Gats design makes the shoe style unmistakable in the wild with the rubber gum sole, leather strips along the shoe's upper, suede detailing on the toe box for the navy pair, and the aerodynamic silhouette. It certainly features a more prominent profile than the simpler Beckett Simonon Reed sneaker which I have also reviewed in the past. While the style is now fashionable as ever, no brand actually owns the design. So the Beck Simonon's Morgan Trainer resembles the classic German army trainer that many other brands offer. Now let's get into the shoes quality and craftsmanship. So the Morgan Trainers are sourced from a gold rated tannery in Arzignano, Italy. Excuse my pronunciation of that. I probably butchered it. But it's made from full grain calfskin leather. This rating is the highest level of recognition awarded by the leather working group. And so you know that the leather quality is going to be up to snuff. There are slight differences as I mentioned before between the white pair and the navy pair. And so the white pair is visibly wider of the two and naturally it's got a wider lacing system compared to the navy pair's more narrow lacing system. And so as for which one is better, it's really up to personal preference. I actually prefer the navy pair's slimmer silhouette, but that's just me. It's also worth noting that the leather upper of the OG navy pair is slightly softer than the leather on this white one. Now for the lining and the insoles. So Beckett Simonon Gats are lined with Bacchetta leather, which is breathable and temperature regulating. And so you can actually wear these kicks sockless if you choose. Although I always prefer to wear no-show socks with shoes like these. So both pairs have equally a soft shoe leather interiors. This white pair here actually has an elastic band on the inside, which the navy one doesn't have. So they definitely added that for the new version. It aids in some functionality in putting the shoe on, but it really doesn't make a difference when you're wearing them. At least I don't feel a difference in how it wears on my feet. I do appreciate that the white Gats have a removable cushioned leather insole 
while the Navy pair doesn't have a removable insole, so that's nice. This got a hard cork footbed as well on the inside. That's likely to mold to your feet over time, so that's always nice. It's got that Allen Edmonds insole. And so for the outsoles, we've got the Morgan Trainer outsoles. It's got that contrasting rubber gum sole against the white. Navy pair, it's got contrast against the navy. The gum soles are actually really grippy, and so it's got a lot of grip out there even when it's wet, so it's really nice. And the rubber is quite durable, hasn't really worn down much either over the years. And so I've had the white pair shorter than I've had the navy pair, but you know, they're still both in pretty good shape. And then finally for the laces, they both are waxed laced, and so pretty easy to lace and they stay laced. Now let's talk a little bit about the comfort and durability of the sneakers. So prior to the review, I've been wearing the navy and white Morgan trainers outside on the basketball court shooting hoops. And so I found that it's a great way to test the shoe's comfort and durability. So as I mentioned before, the original navy pair that I own is the more comfortable shoe by a small margin. And that's only because of the elongated and stiffer shoe tongue on the white pair. Other than that though, both Gats are extremely comfortable to wear around all day. I've never gotten any blisters or crunched toes and foot pain wearing these sneakers, which I can't say the same for some other shoes that I have. The shoe's leather is quite durable. There's not much creasing on the leather at all, except for standard wear and tear that you'd expect over time. I'm not someone who beats up his shoes, and so they don't have any battle scars over the years. But all in all, the shoes are comfortable to wear while playing basketball, and so it passes the rigorous activity test. Now let's quickly talk shoe sizing. So Becca Simonon shoes generally run true to size. I got the size eights for both the white and the navy gets, which is my ideal sneaker size for other brands like Nike, Adidas, Allbirds, Koyo, Greats, Oliver Cabell, etc. However, if they offered a seven and a half, it'd be a much better fit as the Morgan Trainers and my black reeds also run a little bit big on my feet and i'm surprised that they still don't offer a seven and a half since they have f sizes for eight and and up it is worth noting that the foam leather insole does help to make the white pair more snug and slightly better fitting than the blue pair although overall both shoes fit me just fine especially when i'm wearing thick socks if your size is way off and you need to exchange it's a good thing that they produce a small amount of extra socks just in case so you won't be waiting three months for your replacement. And as of this time, they don't offer any wider options. And so if you've got wider feet, you're probably out of luck. Now let's talk price to performance, these kicks. So traditional retail price for a pair of Morgan trainers is 250. However, the price that you can purchase them is made to order is 159. So the shoes used to retail around 200 a couple years ago. But you know, with the prices of everything rising due to the, the supply chain shortages and inflation, you know, it's no surprise that Becca Simonon also had to raise, raise their prices. $159 though, I'd consider the Morgan Trainers a steal. Its quality is on par with other brand sneakers in the $200 to $300 range. And better yet, they offer Gent Within subscribers an additional 20% off your first order with code Gent Within. So you can get these for about under $130. So now quickly some pros and cons. So the pros, it's a stylish and timeless pair of sneakers. Great for casual wear and can be dressed up to a degree. It's made with high quality full grain calf skin Italian leather. Comes in six versatile colorways and they offer free shipping and free returns. For the cons, you have to wait three months for your batch to finish and your shoes to arrive. I personally prefer the first generation's get over the new model. And so in the end, the Becca Simonon Morgan Trainer is an all around solid pair of sneakers that's stylish, durable, and comfortable as ever. Though it might not be the most versatile pair of kicks, it is a pair of shoes that any man can benefit from having in his regular shoe rotation. The shoes are well made, sourced from Italy, and crafted ethically in their own factories, which is a big plus. And it's always nice to know that the details behind the products you buy and that transparency is clear with Beckett Simonon. For a review of the Beckett Simonon Durants, check out this video. And for a review of the Reed Sneaker, you can take a look at this video. That's all I got for this video. Cheers to your style and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.